Hi students, today let me demonstrate to you how to do a virtual lab. First of all, you get into this website www.vlab.co.in okay, where you could see at the bottom there are so many uh, broad areas of virtual labs where you could see you could get into either chemical science or civil engineering because some of the experiments are available even in civil engineering okay so first of all uh, let me introduce to you how to get into chemical science so first of all you open chemical science where you could see a list of institutes which offers different uh, experiments in different branch like organic chemistry collide and surface chemistry lab physical chemistry etc okay so today let me get into inorganic chemistry virtual lab amrita it is offering where you could see list of experiments okay so we have water analysis determination of chemical parameters and water analysis determination of physical parameters okay if you open water analysis determination of uh, physical parameters we could see so many like um, we can measure ph conductance etc so let, let us get into this and check it out what are all uh, what are all the things that are available okay so here you could see uh, we can measure the ph or turbidity or electrical conductivity okay so uh, let me introduce to you how to measure electrical conductivity so this is the conductivity meter already you have seen in uh, first three experiments because uh, the first three experiments were uh, related with conductance measurement so here also today i'm going to introduce to you the cold rush's law how to do the cold rush's law verification of cold rush's law so that is also done using conductivity meter so first of all you choose the conductivity measurement then uh, we can standardize uh, we can standard standardization will be done using uh, standard uh, kcl potassium chloride solution once the standardization is ready see the standardization is done using kcl 0.01 molar okay the electrical conductivity will be 1412 micro siemen once uh, uh, what to say like um, standardization is ready now we can get into the measurement okay we can take the samples so let me take the sample okay if i am taking total pure water first of all you would select the sample then switch on the instrument once you switch on the instrument the conductivity will be shown so for um, pure water it is 0.055 micro siemen per centimeter uh the next one you just put it off switch it off and select typical um deionized water okay and switch on so it will show the conductivity of deionized water which is 0.1 next you can put the instrument off and choose the next one uh, maybe distilled water you you could see the difference between different samples okay so this has 0.5 micro siemen and per centimeter for each sample the conductivity will vary so the, that is how we can um, measure the conductance for different samples like uh, distilled water um, rvo water reverse osmosis water tap water potable water let us uh, check for tap water tap water you switch it on it is showing 572 whereas uh, if i am uh, choosing um, say sea water sea water switch on you could see 56000 micro siemen per centimeter centimeter then finally if you choose the brackish water switch on the instrument it shows about uh, 1 lakh okay so 1 lakh micro siemen per centimeter centimeter so this is how the conductance is measured and uh, coming on to the cold rush's law what we got to do is we can choose any electrolyte prepare different concentration in the same manner we can measure the conductance and plot it as a graph okay so graph will be plotted uh, against concentration and conductance so you will get a straight line 
that straight line has to be extended to cut the y axis when it cuts the y axis that will give us a lambda value lambda infinity value conductance at infinite dilution so this is how you will have to do uh, verification of cold rush's law once again let me repeat we'll be preparing for what was say for example for hydrochloric acid we are we are going to find the lambda infinity value prepare different concentrated solution uh, say like if you are preparing molar uh, molar solution the conductance will be molar conductance if you are preparing normal solution the conductance will be uh, equivalent conductance so accordingly you can measure the conductance so prepare a different concentrated solution for hydrochloric acid and measure the conductance and tabulate it once the conductance values are ready it could be plotted against the concentration so square root of concentration versus conductance will give us a straight line okay and we all know like hydrochloric acid is a strong electrolyte so it can undergo complete ionization will obtain a straight line and this straight line has to be extended and made to cut at the y axis the place wherever it cuts the y axis that will be taken as the conductance at infinite dilution okay so that is how we can verify for uh, uh, two or three strong electrolytes and from which we can can also determine the conductance of uh, weak electrolyte and inf infinite dilution okay thank you